friends today we are going to make a winter landscape and also learn about value okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need watercolor we need crayons we need half a paper and i have my whiteboard we are not drawing much today but we need to practice draw some trees okay that's why i have that and because this is watercolor i have some water okay so these are the supplies so let's first talk about value so you would be thinking what value is is it the value uh, that you learn in math and you are so small to learn about that no this is the value in art in art value means how light or dark a color is okay so what does it mean it means how light or dark a color is so how will you make a color light so if you are using um regular paint not the watercolor what do you do to make it light is you add white to it right when you mix white color to any color it will make the color light for example if you want to make the red light you add white color to red and you mix and then you get pink right pink is a lighter color so same uh, with orange if you want a lighter orange you add white to it yellow add white to it um green add white to it um blue add white to it purple add white to it if you want light brown add white to it if you want gray which is a lighter color of black you add white to it now what will you do to make a color dark to make a color dark you add um black to the color that you want to make it dark not a lot of black if you add a lot of black it will turn black so if you want a darker uh, red you add a teeny bit of black to this red and then you get a darker um uh, red same thing with all the colors uh but this is watercolor so i will show you in watercolor what you do to make something light is add more water to the color and it will become light um but if you want to make the color dark you add black okay so uh, adding black is same in watercolor as well as other colors but uh, making something light in watercolor is by adding instead of white you add more water so let's put that away so value is how dark or how light a color is okay so uh what um, you need to this is all big things but uh just know this that's all okay you will be learning more about value the coming years so today what we'll do is we are going to practice draw some of the trees that we'll be drawing it is a winter lats landscape that we are drawing so uh we'll be drawing we'll place the paper today in the though it's the landscape we are placing the paper in the um portrait style okay so we are going to draw a tree that is very close to you a tree that is very close to you is it big or small how does it look the trees that are closer to you will look big the trees that are further away from you will look small so i'm going to place a tree that is right in front of you over here on the paper okay it's right in front of you so i'm going to make a line come all the way to the bottom so it doesn't start from it, it this line starts from the middle of the uh whiteboard and then go all the way to the bottom of the whiteboard okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make curvy lines like that it's more like a c can you see if you, if you put it sideways it's like a c uh, it's a bigger c and it's get down it gets bigger so same thing over here c a bigger c and you want a bigger c when you look at this way you get a tree right 
So I should have made this also like a C. So I'm going to make the trunk a little bit thick. So that is how we are going to draw a tree. Now I'm going to draw a tree a little bit further away. So we are only going to draw maybe two trees because our paper is small, right? So two trees. So in over here from the middle, I'm starting and almost here when I reach half of this tree, I'm going to stop. Okay. Same thing this time, the C's are smaller than the ones that we made here because this is a tree that is further away. So the C's as it comes down becomes bigger, okay? So this is all that you need to do uh, for the drawing part. And then uh, we'll put some, uh, with the white crayons, we'll make it look like it's snowing. So we'll put dots on the paper like that. Okay. Okay, that's all that needs to be done. So I'm going to now take my paper. I'm going to put this away. Space there. Yeah, I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to take your black crayon. This is my crayon. black here I'm going to uh, from the middle of the paper like almost maybe a little above the paper maybe I leave like three finger space or four finger space I'm going to put a dot I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom of the paper I'm going to make this line a little bit I'm going one more time to make the trunk of the tree a little bit thick I'm going to put the sideways I'm going to make the so the C C the next one is a little bit bigger than the first one a little bit bigger than the second one This one, I'm not going all the way down, so this match, okay? Let me make the C's a little bit thicker. Because this tree is right in front of you, right? So you see more of this tree. Okay. the tree is done now I'm going to make another tree uh, I'm going to start from here and then come away almost to this I'm going to put it sideways I'm going to make small C's So I have the tree. Now let's put this away and take the white crayon. Remember how I made the dots? It should be spread out like sprinkles on ice cream. It's not crowded in a point, spread out, okay? So I'm going to make a circle here. You won't be able to see the circles, but press down your mark, uh, crayon so that the circle looks nice. Okay, that many is enough. I'm going to put away my crayon. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my pencil. Uh, I'm going to just about the this tree, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Okay, just about the uh, where this tree ends, I do a horizontal line. Can you see the horizontal line, guys? I made a horizontal line, this one, here yeah, like that, okay? I made it light so that um, it doesn't show up that much only. I can see it, okay? 
why I made this line is for me to know where to stop when I'm painting, okay? I'm going to take my water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, different values, different values of blue. Value is how light or dark a color is. So my color, I'm going to make different values, different like light color of blue, a darker blue or same blue, okay? Different values of blue. So I'm going to, for that, I'm going to add a few drops of water in blue. Or maybe, yeah, it's okay. I'll just put water in blue. And then I'm going to swirl lightly. I'm going to dip my brush in water. I'm going to dip my brush in water. See that you're holding the brush the right way uh, above the metal part. Dip in water. Now take a dip in the paint and then paint. Dip in water, swirl in paint and then paint. So we have a light blue. Dip in water, dip in paint. Dip in water, dip in paint. So it is light now. What I'm going to do is like once three finger space is painted, see? I'm going to just swirl in the paint and then so it is more darker. So I got a, another value of blue now. So I'm just swirling like one time and then painting, okay? So once that much is done, I'm going to just blend this. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swirl my brush um, lightly in black, once in black and then in the blue and then I'm going to paint the bottom. So I got a darker value. Can you see? Swirl once in black and then more in blue. So I'm going to now go over the line that I made and then I'm going to spread the paint. Can you see the black mix? Swirl in black, swirl in blue. And then you are done. So you got different values of blue and you are done with your art. Doesn't it look like the the tree is standing in the snow that this you don't have to paint the ground because the ground is covered with snow that's why um it is white okay and the rest of the tree this the sky is different shades of blue not a uh, shades different values of blue okay hope you guys enjoyed this art today with me Till we meet next time. Oh, do write your name in the bottom, uh, room number, and email me with your school name um, in the email address that I'm going to put at the end of the video. So till we meet next time. Bye-bye.